Okay, so now that we have our top and our bottom complete, we're going to move on to the rails. So what I have are our vertical rails. These are again Misumi uh, 15 millimeter V channel. And the linear rails that I've decided to use for this are also Misumi. This is the Highland rail. Uh, this is a non-serviceable rail. You can see, well maybe you can see there's bearings right in here. And these came probably recycled from some clothes plant in India. I don't know. 80 bucks. Uh, they came pre-lubed with liquid lube. And if yours don't come pre-lubed, I would suggest you use a dry, dry lubricant like graphite. Um, it just, it, it would probably get you a better, less messy product in the end. Um, the other thing that you're going to need are your carriage belt, belt holders. This is on over here and here. This is where the, the smooth rod connects and it's going to connect to the linear rail there. We're also going to need our end stop holders and we are going to go ahead and attach our end stops. Now I went ahead and bought a kit that came with these end stops in it and they don't work very well for this type of holder but instead of modify it and go through all the trouble what I'm actually going to do is just drill some holes out and use some glue to countersink it so that I can attach them. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, actually I'm going to go ahead and show you this real quick. You're going to need bolts that are a little bit longer to attach your carriage carriages your carriage holder, belt holder to your carriage. Um, and you're also going to be using your really short M3s to attach the linear rails to your Misumi. And then to attach your um, your end stops, you're going to be using a much thinner, this is an M2.5 and it's got to be long enough that you can go all the way through your switch to the holder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start slapping that together and then I'll give you some tips.